What is good YouTube? It is James here. Coming back at you guys with another video. That is Motorola Roadster 2 not connected. A device has connected. So as I was saying, welcome back to the video. A Hope you guys are having connected. Are you kidding me? As I was saying, welcome back to the video. Hope you all are having a great day. It is finally getting warm outside. I am on seven days straight of straight basketball balling. I've been going outside shooting hoops. I love this weather summer is what I wait for over here in New England. I actually can't stand the winter. I, I never get anything done. The only thing I do get done is obviously my shoe sales. But besides that, I'm just kind of a sitting brick. But you know what time it is. You heard the last video that we're doing it. It is time for the Jabes Q&A. So here we go. Let's get this video started. All right, so question number one come from Mr. Hype Beast. What made you start a YouTube channel? I guess it's been something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I just didn't know how to start it. I was in high school, didn't know if I could do it managing all my schoolwork, sports, and YouTube at the same time. And when I got out of high school, it was better for me to like look at my options. And since I have this great shoe collection and great area I live in and travel a lot, I decided it might be a good time for me to bring up this YouTube channel, start it, let's see what happens. And we're doing great. I mean, we're growing every day and I, I'm blessed. Question number two comes from YouTube Highlights. Can I have a shout out? There you go. Question number three comes from Sam's Cola. Why are you so lit? I guess I'm just lit. I mean, thanks for the support, man. I love it. Keep commenting, liking. I appreciate you, bro. All right, so question number four comes in from Arctic Slider. What is your most prized sneaker? Hands down the Nerf KD4. The hunt I went through, the want I went through for years to finally get these this year. This is hands down my most prized sneaker. It took so much effort for me to find them. So much effort for me to get them. These are only tried on in my size. Definitely, hands down, my most prized sneaker. And honestly, in the future, I'm definitely gonna make a video on what I went through to get these and how and where I got them. All right, question number five comes in from Michael Swayzu. Swayzo, sorry if I can't pronounce your last name, man. How many pairs of shoes do you have a lot of you asked this. I'm sorry if I didn't feature your comment, but everyone who asked this, believe me, I saw your comment. But a lot of people ask the same question. Currently, right now, I'm somewhere between 170 and 190 in that range around that. I haven't counted in a minute. And I'm gonna, I'll do an updated one after London this week. But eventually, when this channel gets bigger, I will do my sneaker collection video. I know you're all gonna wanna see it. It's gonna be a crazy video, so we need to get more subscribers before we do that. All right, question number six comes in from Nicholas Martinez. He made a pretty long comment. I'll read the full comment for you guys. He said, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? Big thumbs up on the video, bro. Keep doing your thing and hook me up on them Yeezys and you'll make my day with two thumbs up and a flame emoji. Now this one, I'm actually gonna show you a video on my phone here in a second, but I just wanna give you a backstory. When I was younger, I didn't skateboard. I didn't BMX bike. I inline skated and I went to a place called Woodward, Pennsylvania when I was about 13 or 14. And when I went, I did one of the craziest things I've ever done in my life, the hands down the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. I also had so much fun doing it, it was unreal. All right, so here we go, let's watch it. I did the mini mega ramp out in Woodward, Pennsylvania. One of the most fun I things I have ever done in my life. It was the most fun I've ever done. And also if we go over here, I land a backflip. So fun. I loved inline skating. It was a passion for a while. And I've actually thought about maybe going back into it. So that's something I may potentially be doing here in the near future. So just so wanted to show you guys that. And that is the craziest thing I've ever done. Question number seven comes in from Magma BMX. Do you live in the Boston area? The answer is yes, I do. I'm about an hour north of Boston. I travel to Boston a lot, but I'm, I'm New Hampshire born and raised, so I'm definitely in the Boston area, but uh, I'm from New Hampshire, but I go to Boston a ton, especially for sports games. Mainly reason I go to Boston is either to catch a flight, 
or sports games. Question number eight comes in from Andrew. He asked, he was wondering how much did it cost for me to sit in the TD Garden and what app did I use to purchase the ticket? The truth is I didn't use any app at all. I just went to StubHub.com and I bought them. They were about 170 each. I just wanted to go. I'm Every time the Celtics are in the playoffs, whether an eight seed or a one seed, I go there. I'm recording this the day after um, LeBron blew them out. That was crazy. I almost went to that game. Thank God I didn't waste my money. But I had so much fun in Game 5 and Game 7. If you haven't, I've noticed in a lot, not a lot of people have seen my Game 7 vlog. Go check it out. It's about four videos ago. Must watch. Crazy. When Isaiah hit that shot, oh my God, you'll see how loud that Belvin got. All right, so question number nine comes in from Jason B. He asks, what do you do that lets you have so many pairs of shoes? And the truth is, what helped me in the beginning was my discount to resell ratio. But right now, I'm just a reseller. And I don't resell only through releases. I kind of like buy in bulk and I work the aftermarket. So I'll buy 10 shoes at a time and I'll make them mark down each shoe a certain percentage, meaning I can make money back on all the shoes. And that's how I'm making all of my profit now to grow this collection this big. All right, question number 10 comes in from Calvin Koblinski. He asked, do we have any plans of opening a store slash designer clothing store? And the truth is, we will be opening a consignment shop very soon. Consignment stands for, we also will be selling other people's products for them and we will keep a percentage after the shoes sell. So we're gonna be trying to make it one of the lowest percentage of consignments in the world. So get ready for that. And the answer is yes. I can't give you a date yet. We're working on it. And before I keep answering these last couple questions, if you can comment below what video I wore this t-shirt in, you are a day one subscriber. All right, before I shout out this guy, this guy has been here since about 10 subscribers. I've seen him comment, like, he's been everywhere. So here we go. This is a big shout out to you, man. I appreciate you so much. So this question comes in from GamerTuberHD. He asked, how long have I been a sneakerhead and do I sell shoes? You kinda, I kinda answered that a couple questions ago. Yes, I do sell shoes. I am a reseller and a collector at the same time. And how long have I been a sneakerhead? If you watched the video a couple uh, weeks ago, it might've been a couple weeks ago now. I've been doing this for about six or seven years now. We're moving on to seven years. And I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. So the last question comes in from Inferno Flame. He comments, can I have the Yeezys? The answer to that question is if you enter the giveaway, you have a chance to win the Yeezys. So here they are right here, completely DS, waiting in their box for the winner. So everyone who hasn't subscribed, subscribe to enter the giveaway, and you got a chance to win these bad boys. So yeah, everyone, remember to subscribe, and if you enjoyed this GH q and smash that comment below and smash that like button. I love the comments, so keep commenting. And if this video does well, I will definitely be making a James Q&A again. I had a lot of fun doing this. You guys asked some bomb questions. So I appreciate all of you. And I'll see you guys back with another video.